Tata Tabo Tauda to a yellow man as a Uda. A Mosu idiot. You never know yellow man is the king of the crowd. Good gash. It's I that the yellow from the king's town. Hello, I'm Nick Shortle. I'm Matt Bell. And hello, I'm Levi Kirkman. And we're going to talk to you about stem cell research. We will address the ethical and moral issues people have about stem cell research. Stem cell research creates a huge controversy concerning if it is right for scientists to do stem cell research. Stem cells are cells that are only found in multicellular organ organisms, which is why many of the cells that would be used that would be used would be from humans. And there are three different types of stem cells. The first being the embryonic cell, which comes from the baby's embryo. These cells are usually obtained from the embryo when a mother has a miscarriage or an abortion. The next type of stem cell is an adult stem cell. This type of stem cell is simply obtained by drawing blood from the human and getting the cell from that blood. The last type of stem cell is the cord blood stem cells. These stem cells are found from blood in the placenta. One of the reasons people are against stem cell research is because it would involve taking embryos. Embryos are considered alive or somewhat sacred to many people. Uh, uh, this gives people of America reasons to think that stem cell research should not be done. Also, people against it believe it is immoral to destroy a few day old embryo, even if it is to save or reduce suffering in existing human life. The main reason for one being for stem cell research is because stem cell research will bring many cures to many diseases, disabilities, and conditions. These diseases are ones such as diabetes, cancers, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and heart disease. It can help cure conditions such as birth defects. Also, they could potentially find cures for spinal cord injuries and multiple sclerosis. Over 100 million Americans suffer from diseases that could eventually be cured from stem cell research. Science does not have to kill in order to cure has been a common anti-stem cell uh, argument. Many church bishops have said that this practice would violate teachings of the sanctity of life. The main argument on their side is stem cells can be taken from many other sources, including adults, and this process can be done without any harm. Also, the use of embryonic stem cells that are taken from aborted embryos is viewed as unethical. President Bush said in 2005, I am a stronger supporter of stem cell research, but I made it very clear to Congress that the use of federal taxpayer money to promote science that destroys life in order to save a life, I am against this. Uh, this is Ms. Crouch, and we're going to be interviewing her on her views on stem cell research. Ms. Crouch, what do Hi. you know about stem cell research? Well, because I'm a biology teacher, I know quite a bit about stem cell research. Like, I know what stem cells are and uh, the different kinds of stem cell research because this is a topic we cover in class. Uh, what are your views towards stem cell research? Um, I'm in favor of stem cell research. Uh, I think that if, well, this, I'm talking about embryonic stem cell research here, that if there are embryos that are available and people have willingly donated the embryos to research instead of them being discarded, that it is okay to use them for research purposes. Um, I'm not in favor of using them to clone humans, but um, to do you know basic research on stem cells is fine. Good, thank you. Just get up. <laughs> this is Aaron Michael Blackman, and uh, he will be giving us a viewpoint from a younger demographic. Demographic, young man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Aaron Michael. Yeah. What do you? know about stem cell research? Well, as far as I understand, it is when you take the stem cells of a baby, which are used to make more important cells, for someone who has a deficiency of those cells. Okay. Uh, what are your views towards stem cell research? Uh, I think it's a pretty good thing. It's probably going to cure a lot of diseases and the like, so I'm all for it. <laughs> um, what about cloning? What are your thoughts towards uh, cloning. I, I can't wait for cloning. Why is that? I'm just gonna have a, little, a bunch of little people running around, like, oh, just like me. <laughs> <laughs>